And I know your plan has got two bicycle tracks, right? One of them down the rail line and the other one down the freeway. Uh, I, c I find it hard to imagine anyone choosing to bicycle down the, the side of the freeway, but, but that does exist in some places. And how effective is that? Well, so one of the things that, w that we see when we're, al when we're doing these more integrated solutions, you see both the freeway and the rail sort of acting as a barrier for, for pedestrian and bike movements. Mm -hmm. And, and you see gaps in the system, and folks are really f uh, love the coastal rail trail, but there's lots of gaps in it. So yep. one of the parts of the six and a half billion dollar vision is to finish the coastal rail trail. And then the second part is when we decided to reduce the scope of the freeway, uh, we went back and re-looked at it and said, in some areas, could we get another bike lane in there that complements the coastal rail trail? And the example would be 56. On 56, you have a bike path, pedestrian path adjacent to 56. And we actually get a lot of great usage, a lot of families. And they really serve just kind of like the freeway and the rail serve different customers. The bike facilities serve different customers too in some ways. I mean, ways. do you think they might be used for commuting to work or is this more for leisure, weekend bicycling? It's, it's a mixture of all those. I think the, the one that's along the I-5 really provides better connectivity to the communities. They don't have to go all the way out to El Camino or all the way into Coast Highway. Um, and so class one facilities that are more separate from, from uh, streets are a little more comfortable, a little more safer. And so, you know, you get different families who are more attracted to the, the, the more segregated facility. But you could bike from, say, you know, Oceanside to Carlsbad, perhaps just direct, a direct route along the edge of the freeway. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. With these four decades we're looking at and all the planning, uh, are there any political battles left? I mean, are there, there are legal issues, aren't there, with CEQA and all that? I mean, or, or is it, uh, in your view, uh, do we have a plan and it's just a matter of executing and getting the money? I think we're making a lot of great progress. We expect to finalize the environmental document this summer. Uh, and then that allows us to take the coastal permit, which the entire project's in the coastal zone. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been working very collaboratively with the Coastal Commission to date. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, in the last two months, we've had the uh, sort of the, the base document for the coastal permit out for public review. Um, and so probably next spring, uh, March, April timeframe, uh, the Coastal Commission would hear the project. And really that would be the last regulatory um, milestone before we could start construction in 2015.